Welcome to another tutorial of Electrical AutoCAD. The Pioneer is back with the AutoCAD training. Please like, subscribe and share the channel. For new updates, click on the bell icon and do not miss our new updates. In the last video, we taught you how to create a project and drawing. We now build on the previous video and complete the tools that are used in the project manager. Let me show you how to create a drawing once again. You can create drawing in two ways. First, you can click the active project and right clicking it, you will get this drop down menu and you can add drawing. You can create new drawing by clicking on new drawing. Similarly, you can create a new drawing by clicking on the icon new drawing from the project manager ribbon. Now I simply click on new drawing and the dialog box with create new drawing will appear. Now you can write the drawing name and the descriptions and you can select the template for your drawing. Now I create a drawing named three phase motor. Now I can write descriptions about the uh, project. Let's say contractor timing a relay operation and similar these are random descriptions I am writing here and you can leave these areas blank and click on OK or OK properties your drawing will be created I missed something about template you can browse template and select the template you wanted here in this preview you can see how your how your workspace will appear after you selected the template you can select the existing template or you can create a template which we will teach you in the later videos i am going with acad electrical iec for this tutorial now i click ok or ok properties to create the new drawing i am clicking ok properties and do you want to apply the project default values to the drawing setting? We configured while we created project manager project that is tutorial pioneer and the, the AutoCAD software is asking if we are applying the sa same settings to the drawing also and I'm clicking yes. Then it will take some time and our drawing properties dialog box will appear. You can simply click OK. For other options here, we will surely talk these in later videos. And I'm clicking OK here. And now my drawing is created. But I cannot see a drawing inside the Tutorial Pioneer. You can simply click on Refresh. And here is the drawing I created inside the Tutorial Pioneer. I can add drawing inside the project that I created earlier by simply right clicking on tutorial pioneer or the existing project you are working and clicking on add drawing. Here are some of the projects that were created already by the AutoCAD to give you the demo. I'm adding the DEM001 and DEM002 into our project. You can select the drawings and click on add. This dialog box appears because the project that were created have different settings than the projects that we created. So you can select yes to add your drawings into the project you are working on and apply the settings that you changed while creating the project. So I'm clicking yes. This is updating and I can refresh here. So I added the two drawings here. 
There is another way to add the drawing into the current project. Simply open the drawings that you created earlier. From this drop down, you can open. Here is another demo project that was created by AutoCAD point to point. I am opening the connector drawing in my AutoCAD. Here is the drawing that I have just loaded from the default drawings in the AutoCAD library. I can add this drawing into my project by simply right clicking on the active project or the project you are working and clicking on add active drawing. The similar dialog box appears because the connector drawing has some different project settings than that we are creating. So to apply the settings that you are working on, you simply click on yes. And after some time, your drawing will be added. If you are not seeing your drawing inside the project, then simply refresh and you will get, get the connector drawing inside the project. Now I have taught you how to create a drawing, how to add the existing drawing, how to add an active drawing into your project. Now, there may be various drawings like layout, schematic, so we should create the drawings inside a subfolder. So creating a subfolder inside a project is very easy. You can simply right click on the active project and click on add subfolder. Let me name this layout. Uh, the folder name is not updated. I should click on refresh. And here is my subfolder named layout. You can drag the drawings into the layout. And here the drawing is now moved from the tutorial pioneer main drive, main directive to the layout directive that is the subfolder. If you do not want any subfolders, then you can delete the subfolder. If I want to delete the subfolder, simply right click on the subfolder you want to delete and you can click on remove. But keep in mind that the drawings that are added into the subfolders will, will be deleted. So you can simply take out the drawing from here and the layout is now empty. You can right click and remove the layout. This dialog box will appear and you can simply click on yes to remove the layout. We cannot see layout that is layout is now deleted from our project. These are some of the commands that are going to be very useful while creating a project in industry or, or your college projects. We have completed some of the tools used in the project manager, we will certainly look at other tools when we go through various tutorials in this series. We create, we taught you how to open project, create a new project, create a drawing, add drawing or add existing or active drawing. This is refresh, you can simply refresh your project tab this is project wide update. We will certainly learn about it in future videos. This is a drawing list configuration. You can simply click on here. Here are some of the properties we have entered while we created the drawing. Here in project manager, you will see file name and the drawing description. If you want to remove the drawing de description, then you can simply click the drawing description and move it in the display options and simply click on OK. Here we created the drawing with three named three phase motor and with some descriptions. There is no any description behind the three phase motor drawing. If I want to have the descriptions so that the new users can know what the drawing is about, I can simply click in here drawing list display and I will select description one 
and move it on the right side description 2 and move it on the right side and click on ok then the description we wrote for three phase motor like contractor and timing contractor was written as description 1 and timing was written as description 2 the descriptions will appear in the project manager so that the person who is maintaining or looking at the project can learn what type of drawing this uh, this three phase motor have this three phase motor have contractor and timing diagrams i can so this three phase motor is dealing with contractor and timers i can say these are some of the commands that are used in project manager if you are having troubles while creating project or new drawings please refer our previous video thank you for more videos please like subscribe and share the channel and click on the bell icon